fantastic. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, should we go on in? Yeah, come on. Awesome. Cool. So, Annie, why are you passionate about cooperatives? I am passionate about cooperatives because cooperatives are of and by the people. They're a democratically governed organization. They are hell-bent on serving their community. That's part of one of our principles. And I just think it's the best way to do business. In what ways is a cooperative different than a conventional business? A co-op is owned by the consumers, the shoppers, who put down a one-time equity investment. Right, so they own the co-op, one share per person. In a conventional corporation that is publicly traded, so a big box store that might have shares for sale in the stock market, is owned not only by individuals, but really mostly by other big corporations. And so in a corporation, you're guided by and beholden to the shareholders who can buy as many shares as they want to, and other corporations can also buy shares. And in a co-op, you're beholding, beholding to the people who shop in your store, the consumers, the owners who have one share each. Mm. And how does that play out in, in what happens in the store? Well, people walk in the store and they look around and they say, I own this store. And they really feel that. They feel like it's their store their equity investment has been made, they have their one share, and they have a say. And they have a say because, well, they own it, and because they can go directly to the board of directors, which you can't really do in a big corporation, but they have direct access to the board because the board is made up of their friends and neighbors who are co-op owners just like they are. What possibilities are made available through cooperatives? If more businesses were owned by the people who use its services, then you would have more democratically governed organizations around, and it would enhance your community because it gives power to the people. The people own the business, not just one person like you have in a single proprietorship, sole proprietorship sort of business, or a corporation that might be a family corporation, that all the family members are on the board of directors. This is enterprise by and for the people. And because of its grassroots nature, it is very committed to enhancing its community, wherever the co-op is, mm -hmm. or enhancing the people who the co-op serves. So in an agricultural co-op, for example, it might be the local farmers that the co-op serves. For a food co-op, it's the people who want to buy healthy, nutritious food. It just depends on what economic sector you're in, but it's by and for the people. Let's say that you had a telecommunication co-op. You started one of those because you wanted internet access in a rural area. Or we could go back to rural Midwest before electricity was made available way out to the farms and ranches. An electric co-op was formed in order to electrify the Midwest and rural America. The need was, we need electricity. The solution was, we'll form a co-op in order to get that. We'll pool our resources, and with those resources, we will create an enterprise that meets our needs. And I think that is the biggest advantage. Can you give an example of a cooperative enriching its community? Well, all co-ops are guided by seven principles. And the seventh principle is concern for community. So from the very beginning of cooperatives, concern for community is one of the hallmarks. We, by our principles, must take care of our community. And we can do that in any number of ways. For us, taking care of our community means giving lots of donations to local schools and to local nonprofits. We have community grants that we give every year. Those are small grants up to $1,500. 
and we try to operate in a way that enhances our community by offering really great nutritious food and education about that. Mm. Can you tell me about a time that a cooperative made a difference in somebody's life? Oh, sure. I'm going to use an example from Africa. There's this great documentary that is about this group of women drummers. And they needed to fund their ability to perform and travel. And so one of the things they did was to start a cooperatively owned ice cream store. So they were engaged already in a dairy co-op and they just extended that then to their enterprise as an ice cream store. And so they bought the ice cream store, then bought the dairy, the cooperative dairies milk to be made into ice cream. And developers of an ice cream store, a co-op ice cream store in New York City advised them about how to be a worker-owned cooperative and how to purchase from the dairy cooperative and how to make ice cream, which they didn't know anything about. And because of that, it enhanced the dairy cooperative because there was another market for their milk that was local and it enhanced the lives of the worker owners of the ice cream store because they had jobs and they made enough profit that they were able to give a little bit of a patronage dividend and they used that to fund their drumming circles performances, travel for their performances. So that's one way you can go into a community and empower people to actualize a better life for themselves. So we'll, we can talk also about food co-ops again in rural areas where there is nothing. Same thing. You have to bring your community together in order to start a co-op. So immediately you start doing community development work. You get to know your neighbors. You get to know the various needs that your community has. And you get all kinds of skills about how to communicate with each other, nonviolent communication, working together, how to have a board of directors, how to serve on a board. All of these skills are really important for community enhancement and you empower people to grow as individuals because they recognize that they have individual power. And when people with individual power join together, they're stronger together. And that makes your community stronger. And also, what is that? Road Belgium, Rainbow Road Belgium, Road Belgium, Road Belgium, Road Belgium, Road yeah. Cleanest meat in town. You know that they're local because we have these special signs for Rogue Valley grown produce. Oh, the blue one. 